This video is to help you find out how much water you use on a daily basis. And the first thing you're going to need is a statement of some kind from the public entity, whatever it is that provides your water for your household. Um, so in my case is a bill. Uh, and it's one of the only remaining bills that comes in paper form. Uh, so I got the most recent one. And the most helpful part of it is this chart called Consumption History. And um, as you can see, it's, uh, it varies over the course of the last year. It's in reverse order. So here's, I'm doing this in June, and uh, it goes in reverse order to January and December, which were kind of high use months. And then back into last fall to last summer, July and August were also, sorry, July and June last year were also high use months. Those probably correspond to months when uh, I, I'm, we're home more, especially I'm home more because of school vacations and because my daughters come to town and other relatives at Christmas time and stuff. So we have more people in the house. Um, but I'm going to focus, I think, on the last six months which I think represent a pretty good general idea about my water use. And I'm going for an average here. So I'm looking at this, and for some reason April was kind of low. already talked about January being kind of high. I'm going to eyeball it because they're not giving me direct, exact figures. Um, and I'm thinking the average is somewhere right at about this level right here. Um, maybe the lower side of that. I'm going to call it... 260 per month as the average. If this is 250 and that's 375, I'm thinking this one right here is about the average. So then I have to ask, 260 what? What's the unit of measure here? Well, looking around on the bill, um, I find out is 260 cubic feet per, per month. So that's for two people in my house. Um, I have no idea what I would use if I were living here on my own. Uh, so I'm just going to do a straight up average or div divide by two, which gives me 130 as the figure to work with. So 130 cubic feet um, is nice but it's not that helpful because most of the measures that I see uh, for comparison of American use and other countries and averages and all of that are in terms of individual consumption per day. So what I really want to go to is gallons per day and I'll change that to liters per day so that I can work in both the metric and the English system. So I've got cubic feet per month. So first I'm going to change cubic feet into gallons. Uh, so I have a handy dandy phone app that does lots of converts things for me when I need it to. And I find out that that is equal to 972 gallons. So if I take, and that's per month, so now I have to figure out how many days in a month and do the division. Um, looking around online, uh, the magic number seems to be 30.4. So if I divide 972 by 30.4 days per month, uh, it gives me uh, 32 gallons per day. And now, there we go. So that should be a pretty decent estimate of my personal use. And then if I convert um, gallons to liters, again using my handy dandy phone app, um, I find out that that is equal to 121 liters per day. So you may find that your consumption is a lot higher, it might be lower, um, apparently, the average in the U.S. is about 80 to 100 gallons per day uh, per person. But, you know, this depends a lot on 
landscaping and outdoor water use and, you know, the amount of flow in toilets and shower heads and all kinds of things. We're really not interested in doing any kind of ranking comparison here. I just want you to find out how much water flows through your house attributable to you each day. So that's how you do it. Good luck.